Brachobrachialis muscle. The origin, it arises from the tip of the coracoid process. It may have a conjoined tendon with the short head of the biceps. It is lateral to the pectoralis minor. Close to the origin of this muscle, there is an origin of the cracoclavicular ligaments or the CC ligaments, the conoid, which is medial, and the trapezoid, which is lateral. Insertion of the muscle. It inserts into the middle third of the medial border of the humeral shaft. Nerve, musculocutaneous nerve. Here is a diagram of the brachial plexus and the musculocutaneous nerve. Here are the muscles that are innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. Musculocutaneous nerve is the primary nerve supply of the muscles of the anterior compartment of the upper arm and it supplies sensation to the lateral half of the forearm. Action It flexes and abducts the arm at the shoulder joint. So, what is unique about the coracobrachialis? The way you think about it, the coracobrachialis comes from the coracoid. The musculocutaneous nerve is close to the coracobrachialis. It pierces the coracobrachialis about 3 to 8 cm distal to the coracoid, and it gives a branch to the coracobrachialis. Then it runs between the biceps and the brachialis on the anterior compartment of the arm. So that nerve is close to approaches on the anterior shoulder, especially when you retract the conjoint tendon. And the problem with this is you may not be able to measure the deficit except the decreased sensation on the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve because this is the terminal branch and will give sensation to the forearm. It is the same nerve that when you do distal biceps repair, you could injure. So when you do anterior shoulder surgery, you need to be very careful when you retract the conjoint tendon because of the musculocutaneous nerve. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.